It's so interesting that you can figure out all of these things just from um, a picture that you can construct. Simple things or DNA that you can get, it's crazy that you can find out all these different things about how they lived. Today they're working on a anthropology project that we're doing to incorporate the next generation science standards. They are looking at how structure is related to function and I thought it would be a, a really great project to do some facial reconstruction. I did some research and found that they had uncovered Richard III's remains in 2012. And I thought, oh, that would be great. What an interdisciplinary unit that we could do. Plus, bring in history, language arts. Uh, you know, we've talked about Shakespeare. We even talked about the geometry of Richard III's degree of scoliosis and how his scoliosis has, have, has affected his skeletal system and other body systems. I really like it because I think it's different than um, the teacher just lecturing you about body systems and things like that. For me, at least, I know that can sometimes for me and I'm not really like paying attention, I'm not really engaged and so I think with something like this where we get to reconstruct like what somebody from ancient history would have looked like, I think it's a much more hands-on thing and I'm having a lot more fun with it. Oh yeah, it's super interesting actually. I kind of got the project and like hmm, an old king in some random country but it was, it's actually really interesting because of the fact that like there was so much that was unknown. Like you didn't know like what he ate, you didn't know how he lived, you didn't know where he lived, you didn't know where he died and all this stuff you didn't know being able to see it actually reconstruct like the muscles and the bones and like reconstruct literally everything. Um, it was actually really interesting. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. We don't get to do a lot of this stuff in our classes, and especially not in science classes now. We're making that history connection now. I think it's really interesting. Thanks to the NEF for like giving us the grant to be able to like do this. It's a really fun activity. Thank goodness for NEF. They were able to purchase for us six forensic anthropology kits that included a replica of Richard III's skull. I'm having a lot of fun. It's a cool project. <laughs>